Hello guys, this is the United Man. My name is Shane Leonce. You know what time it is. You know what time of year it is. It's the open transfer window. I love it. Okay, looks like uh, Daniel James has agreed personal terms with May United. Uh, looks like he's possibly on the way with the next few days from what I'm reading. Swansea, although have come out and said they haven't agreed a fee. This being said, they didn't deny that they've um, they've agreed, or May United and Daniel James have agreed personal terms. So that's looking promising. Can we get this over the line, please? Just just one, just one, one deal done, quick in the bag. Come on, okay. Uh, so that looks like that looks that looks really promising. Then, so normally by now you would have heard something refuting that may not they're in for Daniel James or it's just not true or something like that. This has been rumbling on since uh, the end of the season. So, yeah, let's get this one done over the line. Uh, also, Gareth Bell looks like May United is saying that he's not a priority uh, for this summer's signings. I'm neither here nor there on, on Gareth Bell. If we weren't to get him, I'll, you know, fine, brilliant, whatever. But if we were to get him, it'd be under strict guidelines of he'd have to be on the maximum a quarter of what isn't at the moment, a maximum of two years or even a play as you pay as you play, I should say. So yeah, if, if he used to come, I, I don't know. It's just his injury records. Not great. He's yeah. Don't get me wrong on his day. Gareth Bell, well, we all know he's a well beater, as I mentioned before in my previous videos, the overhead kick he done in a Champions League final. My days. Okay, so if we can get that done and get it done with a very, very cautionary contract in play for him, then I'll be happy with that. But yeah, let's just watch this space on that one. As I say, the reports are saying that he's not a priority for Man United this summer. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Okay, so uh, moving on, we've got uh, Thomas Partey. Um, he's got a 50 million release clause in his contract. So that's, you know, uh, that's in euro. So I'm not too sure what that equates to in pounds, but that that's for a holding midfielder. Would you want to get DD for that amount of money? He's 25. Um, yeah, I mean, he's a, good, he's a good, he's like I said, he's a good holding midfielder, but indeed he's what, 22? And... He knows the Premier League already. So that would be my preference. If you're looking on spending that amount of money on a holding midfielder, yeah, indeed would be my choice, but I wouldn't be adverse to, to Thomas Partey. As I said, uh, if we can get him for 40 million mark, then that, that'd be okay, I suppose. But uh, yeah, let's see. Um, also, <laughs> this one is quite funny because the, uh, the Sun's come out stating about Thomas uh, Munir from PSG that they said that he's left, he's dropped another hint about going to Man United. I'll just read out what he's actually said. He said he's aware of uh, clubs that are linked to him, beautiful and exceptional clubs like, like United, Juventus and Borussia Dortmund. The club and management know I would like to finish my contract at PSG or one extended. So how does that transpire into dropping a big hint to Man United? Yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, also, it looks like, well, from what's been reported, I don't know about this one. As much as I'd like it to be true, I don't know. Jao Felix, it looks like, well, from what's been reported, that we're battling out with Atletico Madrid for his £105 million release clause. That's big money for a 19-year-old. Ah, okay, but I just, with the players we have and him being the player that he is, unless we're signing, like I said, five, six other players to go with his style of play, I've seen how Benfica play and, you know, in, in and around the edge of the box, intricate passing, nice movement. We don't have them players here. Maybe Pogba, but yeah. But if we could get him, that would be fantastic. Don't care. Spend that money on on talent like that. Could be well, well beaten in four or five years' time. So, yeah. Yeah, go and get him. Don't let Atletico Madrid get him. Come on, we're United, man. De Ligt. Looks like he's on the way to Barcelona, guys. I mean, 
Frankie Dion has gone there, and he's he's been quoted when he was he won the uh, Eredivisie award, saying he'd love to go and play with uh, Dion, but at this present time he doesn't know where his future lies. So that more likely means he's going to end up at Barcelona. So I'm afraid, guys, doesn't look like he's coming to us. But stranger things has happened. I mean, fax mach fax machines break on the last day of the transfer window. So yeah, let's see. Um, also, Harry Maguire. It's looking like price has been banded about is about seventy million. So problem with that is, if we're getting Harry Maguire, and we've already got Lindelof, unless we're signing Kulabali as well, that's 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 not. You don't have the speed at the back there. So for me, listen, if you get Kulabali and Harry Maguire, great. But if it's Koulibaly or Maguire, Koulibaly all day. Because the price that they're banning about is 70 million, another 10 million or 15 mil, and that's Koulibaly as far as I'm concerned. So no contest between Maguire and Koulibaly. But if you're going to get Koulibaly and Maguire, that's a thumbs up for me. Uh, transfers out. Right, so you've got Tahith Chong out on loan. Not a bad one. Don't think he's going to be breaking into the first team anytime soon from what I've seen. Watched him in the, in the youth squads, under 23s. First team games he's made appearances for. I can't see him breaking into the first team at his present current ability. Um, so yeah, going out on loan is probably best for him. Now, what's concerning me is this talk about Angel Gomez and him in Barcelona and Bayern Munich, all them guys sniffing around him. Go away, do one. It's nah, nah. We keep an Angel Gomez. He's that kind of intricate player that can play with uh, uh, Jao Felix, that can play with Paul Pogba. We don't want to lose our only technically, truly, naturally, technically gifted players. Do one, muse lot. You stay now. Anyway, guys. Let me know what you think. If you hear anything else in the comments below, drop me a message. Uh, and obviously we get, get to work on that. But otherwise, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for your time, guys. Take care.